Here we are, boys. We have the end of the year. It's finally come. You know what that means. Time for my end of the year songs and albums. Starting it off is the 50 worst songs of 2023. At 50, we're starting off with Gossip by Maniskin. Oh my god, this awful. Ter like, Maniskin is not rock. You think you're rock, but you ain't. You ain't rock. You're not classic rock. At 49, Hot One by Paris Hilton, an awful, awful track by why actors should not be making the music. I'm um, 48, growing up on the internet, but no offense. If you already know my uh, takes on no offense, I've never liked any of his songs. And this adds to it, so. 47, CS by Lil Uzi Vert. This is a cover of Chop Soy by Lil Uzi Vert off Pink Tape. And let me just say, um... Don't listen to it. Save, I'll save you some time. At 46, Live by the Sword by the Rolling Stones. I am, man, the Rolling Stones did not, I did not care for their album, man. Not, it was just so boring. Nobody cared. Nobody asked for a new Rolling Stone album in 2023. And this song was just awful because an 80-year-old man talking about, like, sexualizing women. Like, it's disgusting. At 45, We Love You More by Event 74. And Pussy Riot. First of all, I had the original song on here, and then I found out they made a remix, so I added that one to it. And that one just makes it worse. It's so cringy. Ben Sevenfold is back in 2004, bro. Get back on the band. Don't get on the bandwagon. Just end it. Just end it. Just, just retire, please. 44, Me, Me, Me by 100 Gex. Uh, I, you know my opinion about 100 Gex, guys. I hated 100 Gex as they started. At 43, Red Ruby the Sleeves by Nicki Minaj. At 42, In the Bible by Morgan Wallen. At 41, Older by Isabel La Rosa, talking about how she's 18, and all the younger men, all the people her age, aren't as good as older men. And it's just so creepy, it's such a disgusting song. Like, I don't know. I just did not vibe with it. At 40, Nakamura by Lil Uzi Vert, another one from Pink Tape. This song was awful as well because he not only does he literally samples Sinsuke Nakamura wrestler's theme song and makes it just awful like you know I, I heard it, I was like oh this kind of cool you know Sinsuke Nakamura but they adds it and it's awful 39 though is 3 a.m. by Skrillex 38 up and down by the Chainsmokers 37 wet vagina by Doja Cat 36 FOMO I don't do cool shit by uh Quinn X C I I I. Yeah. 35, Joy Pharrell Williams of Voices of the Fire. 34, Rockstar by Boy with Duke. Hate Boy with Duke, and I think all of his songs are cringy, so. Uh, 33, Be Who You Are by John Batiste. Now, John Batiste has some good songs. I like his album he dropped in 2020, 2021. I don't remember. It was really good. I like this soul project. And this song, I just wanted to shoot myself in that. Same with J.I.D. was on there. I'm like, oh, this might be a good song. No, it was it was awful. It was just a mess of just, I don't know. It, it was just high energy, high pro voltage. Didn't need a rapper on there. It was awful. 32 is Friends With Your Ex by Landon Barker. Don't need explanation for that. 31, Summer Song by Theory of a Dead Man. Then they make a song called Dinosaur and try to do a tour with Skillet, by the way, called The Rock Resurrection. Y'all did not resurrect rock. Especially with this album, you try to promote this album called Di literally called Dinosaur. 30, Spotlight by Dream. Man, the drop of the year was Dream, guys. Dream actually dropped a whole EP, and it was an ear rape. And this is one of those w worst songs, talking about how he wants to put this person in the spotlight, how he wants to sh shine them up, and how he wants to, you know, make them popular. You just gotta have sex with me. That's all you gotta do. Heart of Glass by uh, Dolly Parton at 29. This was an awful cover. First of all, the whole album was just a headache. Dolly Parton doing 80s and 90s rock covers made me want to smash my head into the wall. And doing a, this cover of Heart of Glass, you cannot beat Blondie's Heart of Glass. I'm sorry. Just can't do it. 28, World of Fire. Well, On Fire, sorry, by 36 to Mars. 27. Uh, Demons by Doja Cat, where she talks about how her fans made her a demon. And she, yeah, basically that's it. 26, Toilet Water by Trippy Red. Just go listen to it. You'll understand why. Hanging to the top 25, though, is Get Him Back by Olivia Rodrigo. And I don't understand. I'll get, I'll get to Guts later on, on the other um, videos. 
but this album or this song I cannot stand by. I want to shoot myself every time I hear this song. I want to get a mic. And then the chorus with the acoustic bridge just does not fit. This whole song is messy. Olivia's worst writing on one of the worst writings Olivia's ever done on a song. And I'm sorry, but she has better pop punk songs than this. And we know it because there's a song called Good For You from Sour. That was immaculate, amazing, good songwriting. Produ production was amazing. It didn't sound messy. This song is a shot, gunshot right through my face from Olivia. She's like, ha ha, you thought it was going to be a good album. Oh, at 24 though, Doritos and Fritos by 100 Gex. Just look it up, you'll understand why. 23, Blah 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 by Monoskin. Again, I, I have just never been on the Monoskin wagon and this proves why. Just a blah blah blah. 22, Yes, I'm a Mess by AJR. This song is absolutely annoying. I want to freaking take my ears out every time this song comes on. Just like, oh yes, I'm a mess with the S I'm just... It's so bad. 21 though, is another Dolly Parton cover, is Stairway to Heaven. And let me tell you, when I when I was listening to this album, I wanted to already kill myself. And there's three hours of this, by the way. Three hours of just Dolly Parton covering rock songs. And first of all, her voice is already shot because she's older. And second, she's a country singer covering rock songs. And we got Stairway to Heaven. And oh my god, this is a headache of a song. Why? You don't need to cover Stairway to Heaven. There's no purpose of any reason to cover Stairway to Heaven. I don't know how Led Zeppelin could approve this cover because it was just that goddamn awful. God, please, Led Zeppelin, just sue Dolly Parton for this cover. It was so bad. Hanging to the top 20, though, is Life is Beautiful by 36 to Mars again. Oh, my God. Just, oh, I don't know what Jared Leto is. He, he's just a being. He's not human. He's, he's not, he might be an alien, but he's just kind of a being. Nobody knows what he is. And his music proves that. 19, Courtney Fuck Kurt about Ma, by Monson. At first, when I listened to this song, I already hated this. So I was like, okay, well, let's go on my worst list. Because it's literally just a minute of him saying, Courtney Fuck Kurt, Courtney Fuck Kurt, Kurt Soto. And I already hate Monson, too. His voice is just annoying. He's trying to bring back the pop punk trend. P -p Punkers. You know, it's so bad. <clears throat> but. Listening to this song and finding out what the meaning behind it is with Courtney and Kurt Cobain, like that whole thing where she shot Kurt and it was so bad. Yeah, I don't know. I just want to like kill myself. 18 through the Dead Men's Back with the title track Dinosaur. Talking about uh, literally just how they're old as dinosaurs. I have no idea what this song is about. It's just, that's how bad it is. Is that the song didn't have a meaning and it's awful at 17 bang bang by nessa barrett this is one of those uh songs about um pushing women's rights which is a cool meaning just not the way that she presents it it's just so annoying it's not catchy at all it just kind of drifts off like there i don't know i just not i'm not caring for this one 16 watch the world burn by falling in reverse now this uh now if you know falling in reverse uh if you don't know falling in reverse that's a good thing just, she avoid them because Ronnie Radke is a madman. And to the top 15 is Mod Son again. And that's Revenge from God Save the Team. And this, oh, this song is so bad with a little R E V A E N G R E V E N G E. Revenge, revenge. And it's so awful. And then you mix it up with the pop punk stuff like that. And it's, oh, so cringy. 14, Love is the New Money by Andy Grammer. And uh, I recently did a. Deep discography dive into uh, Andy Grammer. I listened to all of his albums, and I actually wanted to smash my head into walls. Like I think that I'd rather listen to an AJR album than listen to Andy Grammer. That's just saying that. And Love Is the New Money was his new song this year, talking about how you know I guess Love Is the New Money. It's just. You know, we need love in this world, which is kind of good meaning, but the way he does it is awful. He makes it into like a hip-hop beat, like, oh, and like tries to make it trendy, you know, it's like for it to be on TikTok and blow up on TikTok. It's just, Andy, you ain't trendy anymore. This is not 2012 where people can make this kind of stuff, you know. You, you ain't popular anymore. You just got to realize that. And number 13, though, Olivia Rodrigo's Bad Idea, right? When this first song, when this single came out, I already hated it. I was like, I could not stand by this. I don't know why people think this is so good. Because 
like I said, Olivia Sour was amazing. I loved that album. And then she released Bad Idea Right, and I don't know. I guess that her her hand right her this is her worst probably her worst written song her worst sounding song her worst sounding vocals and it just sounds like she didn't even want to make an album at, at this point she just kind of threw it out there she was like oh man I should make music and then threw it out there this song is just a gunshot through the head and every time it plays I just want to turn it I want to go up to the person punch him in the face turn the music off and play something else it is uh, another pop punky track that people think is, I don't know, You Ruin Nirvana by uh, McKenna Grace. And the opening line, I already, I already wanted, like, I already, like, dissatisfied. Because he says, we used to be in the car listening to Boulevard of Broken Dreams. And I'm like, you can't use Green Day. You cannot use Green Day in this. And then he goes and says, like, you ruined Nirvana for me. I'm never going to listen to Nirvana again. Never going to listen to Blink-182 again. Never going to listen to Green Day again. All because... All because you ruined it, you broke up with me, you broke my heart and those music. It's so bad, the way she presents it, it's so cringy, it's like, it's just shut up. At 11 is Race War by Tom McDonald and Adam, whatever the hell his name is, I don't care anymore, from The Brave 2. Yes, they dropped in, They dropped the second one, guys. They did it. They made Racist Album Part 2 this year. After dropping the last one last year, they made another one. This Race War is basically, like... He literally talks about how he, how the government wants us to have a race war, you know, and how we have to fight against them because they're just kind of separating us, segregating us, you know, like black and white. But then goes on to say stuff how white people, and then he goes on to say white supremacy stuff and black supremacy stuff in two different opposites. Like they're not even, like he puts them where they aren't similar at all. So he's basically saying, so he's contradicting his own words here, which doesn't make any sense at all. Heading into the top 10, though, we have Everest by Dream and Young Gravy. Now, if I thought the other one was bad, then no. This is the worst, um, one of the worst songs I've ever heard in my life. Uh, Dream comes on, he talks to, he literally says, like, I want to get high like Mount Everest. And his voice, oh my God, Dream's voice is awful. It's like, this guy, this is why, uh, you know, people who don't originally make music, don't make music, alright? Because of this shit. It's so bad, that I would bang my heart, use up. And then Young Gravy comes out and says some like, fucking like, I got hoes for Dream, and Dream, and I'm playing Minecraft, like, he, like, Dreams has, Dream has, ho Young Gravy found host for Dream, and Dream found Minecraft for Young Gravy. They're, like, switching lives here. I don't get it. I don't understand why Dream is doing this. And I think why Young Gravy did this is because he's just a guy who finds a good money contract and goes to that song. So, hence the uh, Strawberries and Cream Dr. Pepper song ad that he made earlier. At 9, though. Try That in a Small Town by Jason Aldean. Now, if you haven't heard this song, you are living under a rock. Because this song has been everywhere. It was even number one on Billboard. I don't know how the hell that made number one on Billboard. But Noah Kahn didn't. I don't know. I don't understand. But, if you haven't heard this song, if you have heard this song, they'll probably make your top ten worst songs of, of the year. Maybe of all time. Who knows. But he basically, Jason Aldean basically says that like beat up somebody or if you try to shoot somebody you know that won't work in a small town you know like if the government tries to um, invade on other people and this you can't do that in a small town because all of us are just gonna unite together and beat you up it's like that's not how it works at number eight though backpack by Quinn X C I I. this album was also awful which will be on my probably worst albums list so I'll talk about that more but this song it's just straight up garbage trash. I he literally says like, um, like they're on a picnic date with some girl, and he says something like, and then she pulls out her backpack, and then it's like drugs, and he's like, oh, I've never done drugs before, but I don't want her, but I want to be cool, you know, like I wanna, I want her to appreciate that I, you know, me. So I'm gonna say, oh yeah, I have done drugs before, and then take the drugs. Like boy, who cares? Nobody relates to this song. I want to know one person who's been on a date with a girl 
who's pulled out drugs, and then you feel like you are cool enough to have to not say or to say that you've not done drugs. I want to see one person that relates to that song. Oh, right, seven, the tornado by Our City, boys. Our City is back. You can, you can, you can, you can count on that too, by, by the way. Now, Our City is actually from my hometown, Otana, which is, um, I guess that's the only cool part about Our City. Every one of his songs, I cannot stand by it. And just, I hate his voice. I hate the auto tune he does for no reason. And this, this album proved it with Coco Moon, which I'll talk about later. On, obviously but this song the tornado is literally like how do you relate to a song where he talk where he basically just described an incident with a tornado at six Steve's going to London by uh, AJR and this out uh, this song is so bad oh my god this he literally it's literally a song about nothing because he says like Steve's going to London Tom slept with your mom or his best friend's mom or something like that. And he said, like, John sleeping on your lawn. It's like, it's a song about literally nothing. And then it goes on to the verses about nothing. And then, like, there's a whole bridge part where he does a wriggly rapping. And he goes, maybe I should play a cool song. Put the Kendrick Swimming Pool song on. And they say, and he's like, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, because now, now I realize that I'll never be as cool as Kendrick. Like, no shit you won't be. This is fucking Kendrick Lamar and you're AJR. You're literally writing songs for kids. You're writing lullabies for kids. And you're over here saying that you played a Kendrick Lamar song and now you're regretting playing Kendrick Lamar song because you'll never be cool with Kendrick Lamar. Just, you, I'm glad you accepted it, buddy. Heading into the top five, we've got Your America by Tom McDonald. He's back again here. Another, um... Very uh, controversial track here. Uh, number four is Adam Check Please by Owl City. Again, he's back here. And again, with a soulless song that has no meaning because it's a literary song dedicated to High V, which is his first job, apparently. And he literally says, Thank you, High V, I owe ya. And then goes off into this instrumental beat shit. And it goes on for six fucking minutes. Six fucking minutes of a song that's dedicated to a grocery store. <sighs> At number three, though, is Stuck by uh, 30 Seconds to Mars. And let me tell you, this is the... Oh, oh my God, this is awful. I, I just want to, like, shoot myself after listening to this song. Like, first of all, 30 Seconds to Mars coming back, I was like, nobody wants you back. And then they dropped this shit. Oh, my God, it's awful. The remixy vibes that they're going for here, the... Awful, awful harmonizing on the chorus there. It's so bad. And number two, though, is uh, Victoria's Secret by Jax. Now, this song has been haunting, was haunting me all summer. I could not escape it at all. And I literally wanted to, like, shoot myself because this song is ridiculously bad. Now, the meaning behind it, yeah, it's good, you know, pushing for uh, women's rights and stuff like that. But the actual song, like, but he's like, I know Victoria's Secret. She's he's just she's just a guy in Ohio. Like, it's awful. It's like, why why? Just like it's not a funny song. It's just bad lyrically writing. The pop punks vibe, the popish punk vibes of like re the whole reuniting pop punk thing is not adding up to it at all. It's just a goddamn awful track. And it's so bad that makes me want to, like, rip my freaking ears out. So, thank you, Jax. But number one, guys, is um, 18 Plus by Scene Queen. Another women's rights-ish song. But this song is even worse than Victoria's Secret. Because she basically says, like, don't touch unless you're 18 plus or something like that. And it's literally basically talking about how... Um, or, like, there's, like, one where it's, like, you're on a school bus with a bunch of girls who aren't 18 plus. I think she, that's what she says. Yeah, it's awful. It's just, just go listen to it. It's bad. The And, like, the, the freaking pop punk scene is going on here. And it's awful. It's just, ugh. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's just, ugh. Ugh. So, painfully, I got through all those 50, all 50 of those uh, worst songs to rank them for you. So good job, guys. You're welcome. And 
Um, thanks for watching. What's your worst song of the year? Drop it down below. Let's hear them. Bye.